All right, I can guarantee you've heard the news. And if not, you can probably tell by my thumbnail and also just what the title of the video is. Apparently, Trackhouse has purchased the assets of Chip Ganassi Racing in NASCAR. That's huge. Let's be real. Did anybody think that's what the news was going to be today? I mean, we were thinking, oh, maybe it'll be something like, oh, you know, they're they're announcing the formal announcement of them moving to Nashville. Or, or they're going to announce maybe, you know, who another sponsor is, stuff like that. We didn't think it was going to be something this big. And when I say we, I mean like everybody in NASCAR. I got to give them props because I have no idea how in this era they kept that stuff secret. If you can't already tell, this is going to be a very disjointed video. I am just giving my direct reactions right after the press conference. This is literally a minute after it ended. I'll be real. I am absolutely shocked right now. Let's go over the stuff though that we know right now. What we know right now is that Daniel Suarez will be driving for the team next year, no matter what. They're going to be going to two teams though. Uh, they also have said there's no financial terms that are going to be discussed from this. So I think that's pretty professional of them honestly it's a private business matter shouldn't be something that goes out to the world they're completely right to keep that secret from the world that's their right that's pretty much it that's pretty much all we know so far about what's going to happen we're obviously going to learn about this as it progresses but this kind of fuels a few of the rumors we've heard i mean one of the rumors being that kurt bush would be a a second track house team well he might just be staying in the same place just in a different name uh, we don't know anything though right now, aside from what few things they've announced today. Uh, from what Chip Ganassi said, the team wasn't for sale, but when Justin Marks approached him, it was about a month or two ago. It wasn't something that had really been going on in negotiation for months or years. It was just something that really has been, from what they made it sound like, a very short negotiation period. I'll be honest, I don't know what this says for the state of NASCAR right now for someone like Chip Ganassi to basically be pulling out right before they go into a new era with the new car. Maybe it's just the right time for him to pull out of the sport. Uh, maybe he wants to focus more on the different racing teams that he has in other series. For instance, he kept bringing up IndyCar and IMSA a lot. So maybe that's just what it is. I can't get a good read on it just yet. I mean, there was, of course, they're going to act professional and say everything's good, everything's on the up and up. But I have to say, somebody like Chip Ganassi pulling out, I, I will admit, puts a little worry in my heart when it comes to talking about NASCAR. At the same time, though, he also did say that it's time for new blood and time for change, and he's been somebody who has been very pro-chain in the sport of auto racing. So... There's a lot of different ways you can look at this. You can definitely look at this on a negative perspective, uh, or you could look at it from a positive perspective. I mean, for instance, Trackhouse right now is really moving up the team ladder a lot quicker than a lot of people would think. Uh, and it seems like they're doing this in a way that is more pro long-term health than not just catching headlines. So that's something really big right there. But what do we as NASCAR fans not know yet? Well, we don't know who the second driver is. Uh, they have said that the list for a second driver is very short. That really doesn't narrow it down too much. It doesn't say anything whatsoever about who they're talking to. Again, the rumors have been that Kurt Busch could go to a second track house team, but there's also rumors he could go to a second 2311 team. So the real question up in the air here is what happens to drivers Kurt Busch and Ross Chastain in all of this? Well, Kurt Busch can go anywhere he damn well pleases. If he wants to go to JRM, he can do that. If he wants to go to Trackhouse's second team, he can do that. If he wants to go to 2311's second team, he can also do that. I think that Chastain's future hinges on what they decide to do with Kurt Busch. If they can attract him into staying at Trackhouse, because that's basically what it is. He'd, he'd be leaving what Trackhouse is, in a lot of ways, becoming, which is the current Chip Ganassi Racing. What happens to Chastain, I think, completely hinges on what happens to Kurt Busch. I think if Kurt Busch goes to another team, like a JR Motorsports, like maybe a colleague, like maybe a 2311, Chastain, I think, will be the second driver. Now, what number they choose, if they choose to stay with the 1 or the 42, that's their prerogative. Honestly, that's not really important in the grand scheme of things right now. But at the same time, I think that it would be really wise a track house to court whatever current sponsors of CGR there are willing to stay. 
I think you could really combine the two team sponsors, whether it's the Chevy Good sponsorship or if you combine some of like the Clover sponsorship, McDonald's, stuff like that. I think that you really could build that up along with the sponsors that Trackhouse already has. So personally, I don't think Trackhouse is going to have a problem attracting sponsors for the second team. I think they'll be good to go. I think that they're going to have that charter there. What I have to ask is what happens to the second charter. Is it just going to be that Trackhouse gets those and Spire gets their old charter back? The charter carousel, in my opinion, has just been spun in a way that is really hard to read right now. Now, I think we would be remiss on talking about this if we didn't acknowledge Chip Ganassi Racing's impact in NASCAR. They were one of the teams that helped bring back Dodge back in the day. They had drivers like Sterling Marlin, Jamie McMurray, Juan Pablo Montoya on their team. In a lot of ways, they saved what little remnants of DEI's competitive nature was left with the merger with Chip Ganassi Racing and DEI to make Earnhardt Ganassi Racing at the time. They've gotten more and more competitive over the years, and they've helped a lot of drivers start their careers, like I talked about. They helped Jamie McMurray, a Daytona 500 champion, start his career and end his career. Also, they helped somebody like Ross Chastain get a good foothold this year in the Cup Series. That's stuff that has long-term effects, and when people look back at old races, they will see that effect. They helped Sterling Marlin get a shot at a championship. Ultimately, it never worked out, but they gave him a shot. Like I said before, Juan Pablo Montoya. A lot of people remember him for the jet dryer incident, but he was actually really competitive at times in NASCAR and won a few races. Those are things that for years and decades to come, people will look back in NASCAR history and see the impact of Chip Ganassi racing. Now, I want to end this out with one question I'm going to give my thoughts on it, but I do want to hear your answers to it when I finish up, is how does this affect Chevrolet in NASCAR as well as Hendrick Motorsports and RCR? You know, RCR is in an alliance with Hendrick Motorsports, and they're also in an alliance with Trackhouse. Well, with Chip Ganassi Racing now basically gone, who was in an alliance with Hendrick Motorsports, where does this put the entire Chevy tree? Does the power rankings of Chevy teams go Hendrick RCR track house or is it Hendrick track house RCR? What's the pecking order going to be? I think that ultimately this is going to make track house a much more competitive team. I think this will make them a perennial playoff contender and I think they'll contend for more wins with this, but there's so many questions up in the air that I think will get answered over the summer and fall, but it's just so shocking to think about. So I'm going to leave it there. I want to hear what you think in the comments because I'm sure that a lot of people have a lot of thoughts, especially similar to what my initial thoughts were of what the hell. So leave them in the comments below. Leave a like on this video. Share this video with as many people as you can. Let's get this news out there and subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content. And be sure to watch the NASCAR Weekly Podcast tonight on Black Flags Matters channel. We'll have Sam Meyer on and we'll probably be talking a lot about this subject. So until then, have a good one.